We're in Cook's Corner this Saturday morning, and we are talking delicious uh, braised beef and fall vegetables. I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves because there's a lot of working parts here. This is Cooking and Wine on a mission to, to cure breast cancer. A absolutely. lot going on. So Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm Scott with uh, Magic Food Productions. Uh, we've got the Osteaks and Seafood, Canoe, and Obistro in New Hampshire. And Scott, you've been here before. Welcome we have back. a few times. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Steve White, uh, General Sales Manager for MS Walker, one of the local wine uh, brokers here in New Hampshire, and we're representing Presenting the uh, handcraft wines from uh, Charlotte Delicato of uh, Delicato Family Vineyards from California. Very nice. And, yeah. And, and, and talk to me a little bit about the Indelicato family and this commitment uh, for breast cancer. So this is the uh, Handcraft Wines are a, a project from Cheryl and Delicato, who is one of the family members from, um, from Delicato Family Vineyards. And um, we have teamed up with the uh, New Hampshire Liquor Commission for the months of September and October featuring the Handcraft Wines. And proceeds from the sales of Handcraft Wines will be going to the New Hampshire Breast Cancer Coalition. And we expect to uh, donate in excess of $6,000 um, over the next two months wow. to, to that organization, which helps uh, breast cancer patients pay for uh, all the extras that people don't really consider, transportation, health care, co-pays to insurance, um, um, always a lot to cover when you're going through such, such a situation. So you brought in a petite Syrah, and it is smelling beautiful in here. Yeah. Talk to us about what's going on, Scott. So what we've done is uh, we've got our, our short ribs here, and we've put our spice rub on, and we've uh, put a heavy sear on the outside of them mm. here. Uh, so after you've done that on all your sides, uh, we've put in some root vegetables, uh, carrots, celery, onion. You can use turnip. You can use uh, celery root, lots of different things. Great, great time of year for root vegetables. Mm -hmm. So uh, you want to saute those, uh, get a little collar on them, um, and then what you want to do is uh, take your garlic, some whole cloves of garlic, put that in there also. Don't want to burn that too much to get a little bit of flavor on it. So uh, after you've done that, uh, you want to deglaze with some of the uh, some of the wine, red wine. You can use uh, some of the great petite syrah that we're having today. Um, so saute that a little bit, reduce that down. Add your veal stock or beef stock. That's your stock there. Absolutely, okay. yeah. And the great thing about this, you can do it at home. You can do a stock pot. You can do it in a Dutch oven. A lot of different uh, variations. I was going to ask you about so. technique a little bit, too. This braising is important. Um, it's, it's a quick, high heat. Is that right? Quick, high heat. You want to get this pot smoking hot. Um, I don't personally use any oil in it. I just like a nice, heavy, hard sear because the sugars in our spice rub will uh, caramelize very nicely. So uh, once you get that back in, reduce uh, your stock down. Put your beef back in. Uh, make sure they're covered up, uh, just almost to the top of the beef. And then basically uh, cover that, low oven, about uh, probably about three and a half to four hours uh. minimum. And just let them go, take them out, let them rest, and you've got a meal ready to go. That's a beautiful one-pot meal. You've dirtied one pan here. Absolutely, <laughs> one pan. And the great thing about this is you've got a lot of different ways you can use it. Uh, short rib tacos, uh, short rib mac and cheese, uh, short rib grilled cheese. So there's a lot of different uh, uses for the meat after. So it's just not for one meal. Definitely. Yeah. And Steve, you, you, you selected the petite Syrah? I did. I selected the petite it. Syrah. Just coming into fall, the cooler weather, perfect pairing with the short ribs. Um, the petite Syrah is going to have a bit more of that, uh, that, that blueberry, plum, a little bit of spice because there's a little bit of Zinfandel in the handcraft wines. Mm. Um, the Indelicato family, um, uh, Italian heritage, and Cheryl always puts a little Italian varietal in each of her wines. And there are four different wines featured in the state liquor stores this month, in, well, five if you include the Petite Syrah, but there's a Pinot Grigio, a Chardonnay, um, a Pinot Noir, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Wonderful. We got a lot in a short amount of time. Thanks Absolutely. so much for joining Thank us. You. you can find all this information, of course, on our website. We'll be right back.